I'm Jessica Choba. My favorite Spider-Man is Spider-Pig, and this is Nerdist News. Spider-Pig, Spider-Pig. Marvel finally made a deal with Sony to bring a brand new Spider-Man into their cinematic universe, many fans had hopes that this Spidey would be the Ultimate Universe's Miles Morales, a fresher take we'd yet to see on the big screen. Then Kevin Feige announced that the MCU Spidey would be Peter Parker, which is still totally cool, but maybe not, like, as cool. And now Spider-Man director John Watts is giving us vague hints that there's still a chance Miles Morales could show up in the 2017 Spidey solo flick. What? 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 Yes. While promoting the digital release of his film Cop Car, Yahoo asked Watts if Morales was considered for the featured character in the updated Spider-Man, and Watts didn't not say no. The director's actual quote is, I can't talk about that because, you know, that will reveal too much. We're still writing the story. We haven't finished all the way through the story yet, so who knows? Look, we know. We know it's not much to go on, but it's definitely not a no. And if Watts wanted to leave the door open to this possibility, that is exactly how we do it. So if it happens, let's break down how it would work. In the comics, Miles Morales becomes Spider-Man after receiving a bite from another mutated Oscorp spider and failing to save Peter Parker before that hero's untimely demise in the Ultimate Universe. Thus, with great power and great responsibility, Miles took on the mantle of Spider-Man himself. Of course, the Ultimate Universe is over and done with now as the all-new, all-different Marvel approaches, and in this new status quo, Miles and Peter will coexist, each having their own titles, with Miles also a member of the Avengers and Peter functioning as his mentor. So let's see then. Peter Parker is going to be about 15 years old when he's introduced to the MCU with a rumored loose trilogy planned to cover his high school career. In the Ultimate Comics, Miles was about three or four years younger than Peter, meaning if Parker were to bite the bullet or retire at the end of this Spidey trilogy, there'd be room for Miles to become the new wall crawler just as he began his own very different high school career, possibly around the time that the whole MCU would be primed for a refresh, as most of the current roster for Marvel actors will probably be pretty ready to move on by the time the studio gets through three more Spidey flicks. So, if Miles were to appear in the Tom Holland-led film, he'd be around 11 or 12 years old, maybe showing up as a cameo as some kid that Spidey saves, or a precocious little scamp who lives in the same neighborhood as Peter Parker. And even if they go with the all-new, all-different storyline, Morales is still significantly younger than his mentor. So bottom line, if Miles is in this one, he's gonna be a pipsqueak, or Marvel will have to significantly change Miles' character. But what do you think? Do you want to see Miles Morales on screen in the new Spider-Man? Would you rather wait for him to get his own movie? Do you think the reboot will follow the Ultimate Universe or dabble in an all-new, all-different universe? Let's discuss. Click on Spider-Gwen to subscribe to Nerdist. Dan celebrates Nerdoween by taking you to the creepiest places on Earth on the Dan Cave. And speaking of Nerdoween, have you seen our 90s Goosebumps music video starring Jack Black and Malik? Well, you need to. It's over at Nerdist.com, which you should always be checking for more Nerdist news. Spider-Gwen, Spider-Gwen, doing everything that a Spider-Gwen can. Ooh, I got it.